Please don't take this down, please! I worked hard to make this, you know! Where's the fair use? G'day everyone, I'm Reese, and welcome to my home reviews. A little while ago I was playing Pokemon Go to try and catch some Pokemon if I can, but I didn't. But what I did catch was this little film called Pokemon The First Movie. For those of you who don't know what Pokemon is, well, I'll give you a recap. The video game series started back in 1996 about fighting battles and catching Pokemon and seeing how many Pokemon you can collect. That's pretty much it. But the game was such a hit, they soon adapted it into a TV series, which was a success too. And soon after, a movie adaptation based on the show and the game released in 1998. Will this video game adaptation be a success or it will be bad like 80% of video game movies are? Let's take a look at Pokemon the first movie. The movie begins with a group of scientists successfully cloning one of the legendary Pokemon named Mew. They call the clone's name Mewtwo, as he soon awakens from his slumber. For years we struggled to successfully clone a Pokemon to prove our theories, but you're the first specimen to survive. That is Mew, the rarest of all Pokemon. From its DNA we created you. These humans, they care nothing for me. Am I just an experiment? A laboratory specimen? This cannot be my destiny. This causes Mewtwo to break free from his chamber as he starts using his powers to destroy the lab. Whoa, 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 whoa! Mewtwo! You just killed thousands of innocent people in that one small building! And this is supposed to be a kid's movie! I will find my own purpose and purge this planet of all who oppose me, human and Pokemon alike. So we're off to a good start, but this film still needs something. Let me check on my list of materials for video game movies. Uh, let's see here. Um, should be here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Let's introduce our main characters having lunch. That's always a great way to start, isn't it? Hungry. Need food. No, Ash. You haven't done a thing all day. Oh, and also, no introduction. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I don't know even the film had a deadline or something because clearly they're not giving these characters any backstory because we're supposed to know who these characters are because we watched the cartoon series. Really clever guys! Pikachu! Thus we enter a Pokemon battle between Ash and this random person who came out of nowhere. Ending. After that was over, they get a message from Nurse Joy saying they attended at a Pokemon Stadium for a battle. So they hurry to the airport, but it looks like a storm has caused delayments, meaning they won't be able to make it. So what do they do? Well, they swim, of course, because they have water Pokemon. But Ash says his Pokemon can't survive the storm, as they are suddenly interrupted by Team Rocket, disguising themselves as Vikings. We get you to a new island faster than you can say a perfect nougat. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat! Well, I suppose they must be dead now. Oh, of course they survive, as they use their water Pokemon to swim, as they finally reach the stadium. took you guys so long? Uh, how'd you get here? I decided to fly over. Well, we hardly know you anyway, so we won't be seeing you again after this movie. Or well, unless you appear in an episode in the TV series. You are about to meet my master. The time has come for your encounter with the greatest Pokemon master on Earth. Hey look, it's Mewtwo. We haven't seen him since 20 minutes ago. Because we need a backstory for this character. Who are you? I am the new ruler of this world. The master of humans and Pokemon alike. And soon to run for government president. 
Meanwhile, Jesse, James, and Meow find a strange room on a machine that looks like something you would see in Area 51. But for some reason, the creature's anger is out of control. With its psychic powers, it is destroying our laboratory. Well, that was less creepy than those found footage films. Back with the others, it seems they can't capture or defeat Mewtwo because he's just too powerful. But Ash thinks he can take him down easily. Then you won't mind proving it in a real match! Is that a challenge? You bet it is! I'm pretty sure this won't backfire at all. Oh, Charizard, no! Well, look at that, I was right. Mewtwo takes all the trainers Pokemon that lost the match back to his lab for cloning, as Ash tries to get them back. You know, that would really hurt if I was in that machine trying to get something back that I own. I would have to spend three weeks in hospital. But as Ash got his Pokemon back, the other original Pokemon characters get set free. Begun. The Clone War. But just then, Mew appears after a few scenes before, as he finally meets face to face with Mew 2. Well, it looks like they're gonna have a nice friendly chat about their differences, their friendship, and... <laughs> Mew 2 is such a jerk. The Pokemon creatures start fighting each other as we listen to a song performed by Blessed Onions of Souls. You know, I would feel sad about how animals are fighting their double selves, but I see Pokemon fight all the time, so it doesn't really bother me. Hey, Pika just learned a new move! The Pika Slap! Pokemon aren't meant to fight. Not like this. It's useless. But isn't that the whole point of Pokemon in the first place? You're right, this makes no sense. Someone's gotta take a stand. Someone's gotta say no. Ugh. Ashley! You gotta stop right now! Oh my gosh, he's gonna stop the battle. He's gonna tell everyone that we should stop fighting this war and we should instead bring peace and. <laughs> Ash, no! Oh no, you can't go out like this. You only had 10 seasons left of retirement. It's no use, Pikachu. Electricity won't save him. He's gone. I think the waterworks may be coming. Of course, it all makes sense now. By combining their differences together, they unleash the most greatest and most powerful weapon in the history of Pokemon, the Tears of Life. With this new ability, they can bring back their fallen hero, Ash Ketchum. Hang on a second, when did they do this in the game? Was there like a secret achievement you can unlock in order to get this move? Or did it say something about this in the manual? Because I don't know when the heck did they learn this ability. Also, didn't they already use this whole used tears to bring back life already done in an episode of the Care Bears? You know, the episode of the Clown of Uncaring where Wish Bear dies. So after they use their drops of magic tears, Ash comes back from the dead and everyone is happy. But Mewtwo comes to a stunning realization. A human sacrificed himself to save the Pokemon. I pitted them against each other, but not until they set aside their differences did I see the true power they all shared deep inside. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. Mewtwo takes all his Pokemon clones with him to a better and free life, erasing everyone's memory about the event and taking them back in time where it all started. And nothing of value was lost. Many strange legends surround the mysteries of Pokemon, and just as many adventures await our young heroes as they continue on their quest. For Ash and his friends, the journey's just begun. So that was 
Pokemon the first movie, how does it hold up? Well, to put it simply, it was okay. While the animation is good as well as the fighting, there are a few problems in this movie that most video game movies always have. For example, not having the characters have any introduction except me to, and the confusing message about not fighting. But I say you will enjoy this movie whether you're a Pokemon fan or not. In total, this movie deserves a 6 out of 10 and a recommendation. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video and gotta catch them all! I just realised now that's a terrible way to end the review.